This automation system will help you get more traffic, grow your business, and get more sales. Anyone working online, having a website, should have this system set up and running. And the best part, it's totally free. In this video, I'll give you this system, I'll explain the power behind this system, and show you exactly, step by step, how to implement and configure it. If you are ready, let's get started started every business every website owner should connect their website to google search console like this this powerful tool from google allows you to add your website track it and index it on google so you can get free organic traffic from search engines if you haven't done this yet just go now pause the video and connect your website before you continue you are missing a lot so in google search console you'll find a lot of charts sections and metrics and pages and a lot of things and many of you maybe 80 percent of people using google search console don't know how to use it or what to do with this data and today data means power data means growth data means success what i did is i developed this system here it connects to google search console and gives you weekly report on the main core things you should do to improve your website and get more traffic quickly, grow it and get more sales. Okay, so now it's time to jump in and see how we can build this system. To build such systems, we need a no-code automation tool and one of the best out there is Make. It allows you to build any system you want and it's fully customizable. And the best part, you can use now my link in the description below to get one month free access to make pro plan so click the link log in to your account then click on create a new scenario now to make things simple for you just click on these three dots here and click on input blueprint in the description below you'll find the json file the blueprint file just click on this and select the file you downloaded and click on save and boom we get the full system if we zoom in here, you see we have Google Search Console application or module as Make calls it. So here I am fetching data from Google Search Console. Then I analyze the data with one, two, three, four, five paths. Let's forget about all these paths here and focus on only one. Let's focus on this first one here, going from Google Search Console up here, going through these modules. If you understand this path, you can understand all the other paths. So please focus for this one minute so you can understand and configure the full system. So what's going on here? First, as I mentioned, we fetch the data from Google Search Console. Then we have this router, which allows you to use the same data in multiple paths. So let's focus here on this path. If we zoom in again, we see we have this quick wins filter. Let's see what this filter is doing. I will open it. And you can see here, I call it quick wins and I'm simply filtering position greater than three and less than 16. So let's go here to performance or research console to understand this. And if you go down here, you will see a lot of queries. These are queries people are using to find your website and your web pages. And you can see here we have impressions and clicks. And if you go here to export, and export this data csv for example and if we open the queries csv file we will see that we have here more data like impressions ctr and more importantly the position it will show you for each keyword in which position your website is ranking and this is very important to understand this if you open here google and you search for example for a keyword like wordpress SaaS. And you go down, for example, you'll find my website ranking number two. So this is the position, position number two for this keyword. So in our case here, what we are doing is we are filtering all keywords that our website is ranking between three and 16. This is what we call quick wins. So if you optimize a little bit, you can rank number one on Google and get more traffic. So this is the filter. And then we use an array aggregator which simply combines the data and group by query. Let me show you this in action. I will run this system once. So this is now running. It will get the data. Then it will filter the quick wins and it will pass the aggregator and so on. Let's see what happens. So if we open this, 
we will see the output a lot of queries query number one query two out of queries we have here till 20. if you open this you can configure it to have like maybe 100 results if you want more queries then what's happening here in the filter is we passed only the quick wins as we mentioned between 3 and 16 then we have the aggregator which combines them you can see now it's good by keywords so we can have multiple values for each keyword we have here six results perfect then we have another router here one for saving my data in a google sheet and one for sending me an email with this update so if i open now my email let me show you this again you will see i get an email with a quick win seo weekly report this is the subject line and this is the keywords each keyword with the metrics and these are the quick wins so you should focus on these keywords to get more traffic quickly from google these are quick wins and if you go here and open this you will see we added these rows to google sheet Let's open Google Sheet again to show you this in action. You'll see now in the quick wins section, we have the keywords added with all the data. So we are collecting our data, archiving in a Google Sheet, analyzing it, and then sending a weekly report to our email. This is only one path here. Now, what about these flying the attached modules here? These are very important, but optional modules. I will talk about it in a little bit. So this is about the path. And you can see here, we have this empty path here. I left it empty because I want to show you practically how to build one of these paths from scratch to understand exactly how things work so you can configure anything and customize the system based on your need. Anyway, the second path here is what we called keyword opportunities. And you can see I disabled all these paths. So you can simply right click any path and click on enable or disable route. And if you open this filter here, I'm filtering by position 16 to 50. So these are the second opportunities. You are ranking on top of Google, but in the first five pages. So also you need to optimize these keywords to push it to the first 10 results. There's another report you can get. The third one here is position versus CTR anomalies. Let's enable this route and see what's the filter here. Here I am filtering by position, which is equal to one. So you are ranking number one on Google. You have more than 100 impressions. You are appearing on Google and you have CTR less than 20. So, there's, so there is a problem that you are ranking number one, but there's not enough clicks. So you need to optimize your search appearance to get more clicks. Here also we have other metric or I said other condition or the position is two and we have less than 10 CTR click through rate. So in this case, you need quickly to optimize your search appearance, your title and meta description. Route here number four is what we call search intent mismatch. Let's enable this to see I'm filtering by position less than 10. So I'm ranking on top of Google, but I have click through rate less than 1.5 and clicks greater than 10. Here what we call the intent mismatch. So people are finding your website with the wrong keywords. And this is very important in order to increase your sales. So if you have a page, a web page, which you are using to sell a product, you should match the user intent, the intent of the user, why they are searching for such keyword. So you need to have a match between the user intent and the page intent. And this is very important. And by the way, I explained all these metrics and how to optimize in detail in a full guide in the description below. You can check it after this video. Anyway, now let's move on and see how we can implement a route from scratch and new analysis from scratch. So what I'm going to do here simply is add a filter, set up a filter. I will call this filter CTR opportunities. So we are going to discover keywords that are ranking on top 10, but we have low CTR. So the condition here will be position. I click on position, how we got this list. If you go here to Google search console, you will see the output contains multiple fields. So you can select them easily in the filter now. So the condition position is less than 11, which means top 10. And for the CTR click through rate, it is less than 1.5 and the impressions 
is greater than 100 make sure here to select numeric operators and not time or string operators so now any keyword ranking number 1 to 10 having ctr less than 1.5 and having impressions more than 100 it means i am appearing on google with very low ctr so it means i need to optimize for ctr directly again optimize meta description and title mainly so we have a filter now we are going to add an array aggregator so we can combine or group by keyword or query so click on show advanced settings and group by query and make sure to select the page query position click to rate impressions we get all the data perfect the second step is to add another router so we have two paths one for saving data on excel or google sheets and one for sending an email let's go here and set add a router with two paths so this one will be used to send the email and this one for saving on google sheets let's add google sheets here add a row and simply connect here your google sheets account and make sure to create a sheet like this one here to add your data then let's select the sheet search i have weekly seo analysis and then i will select the sheet name i will add another sheet duplicate this and call it ctr for example and now if we open this we need to refresh sheet name ctr perfect contains headers yes and now for the keyword i will pick the key position will be position ctr will be ctr impressions will be impressions it's that simple page and the clicks perfect so this way we are saving the data then we need to combine all the keywords in one text so we can send it as an email so here i'm using something called text aggregator to combine the text together so the source module will be the array aggregator and the text will be click on show advanced settings the row separator will be an euro so we have a keyword then an euro and so on if you open again the email you can see we have a keyword and euro and so on we have a keyword on each line so here you just say keyword for example and then you pass the keyword then open the array and so on you say clicks impressions and position perfect select position and simply i will add a simple line to format the text and click on ok so now we have the text aggregated in one text now let's send an email just add email again create a connection here so you can send from your own email if you want and add the recipient perfect the subject line ctr weekly opportunities and then the content type is plain text and the content will be text k okay, that's it now we have this route set up okay let's disable all other routes to check it and see if it's working perfectly disable this and keep only this route here i will run it again okay we have 43 opportunities we are saving data and send an email let's see inbox perfect we got the email so this is how we can set up a full route for analyzing google search console now what about these two modules here do these flying the attached modules what i did simply here is i add this optional modules in case you want to use the power of ai to analyze data because you know today we are, we are in the ai era and when we say ai plus data it means success it means growth it's the perfect formula so since we have data from google search console we can simply here attach again and ask ChatGPT with this module here to analyze our data. You can feed each alone or maybe feed all the data together and ask it to analyze, for example, the quick wins and you pass the data. You see the data I pass from the text aggregated and simply we send an email with the output of the AI. So it's like having an AI agent analyzing your Google Search Console data. But since this is a paid module, you need to pay for OpenAI, I kept it as optional. In case you wanna use it, you can connect your OpenAI account and analyze with AI. But the rest of the system is totally free. You can set up today and schedule at least once a week or if you are still new and you upset, you can schedule one a month or by 
weekly. This system is super important. Everyone should have a system set up and running. And this is why I always encourage you to learn about no-code tools, about AI, about connecting data with AI. And I recommend to go now and watch this video where I built a full system with Make where it uses in-depth analysis with AI so you can learn more with more practical examples and grow your business with these automation systems. If you learned something new today, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.